When we open Lumify, our default view is the graph view. The graph is designed so we can visually explore and manipulate our data. Let's first get a few things onto our graph. There are multiple ways that artifacts and entities can appear in your graph, but the most basic is to simply drag and drop. For example, if I decide I want to take a closer look at one of my search results, I can click and drag to get it onto the graph. If we open the detail pane for this document, we can also click and drag any resolved entity onto the graph. Besides drag and drop, there are several menu options that place items onto the graph. We can right click on an existing graph object to see that we have the ability to load related items. We can load all related items or drill down into a second menu to select only related items of a certain type. Besides artifacts and entities, you've probably noticed the graph has also drawn some connections between items. These are relationships, denoting that this item is somehow related to that item. We can click on a relationship to view any properties it has. We can also create relationships from the graph view. Let me pull another article onto the graph. From this article, I'm going to click and resolve a location and drag this onto the graph as well. Let's assume that I know Luis lives here and we want the graph to reflect this. Right click on Luis, select Create Connection, and click on the location again. I am then presented with a drop down of possible relations between a person and a location. And I'll select Lives At. A line denoting this relationship has now appeared. Another thing we can do on the graph is to find the shortest path between two items. I want to see if this person has any connection to a known terrorist organization. So I'll search for and drag the organization onto the graph. Then, if we right click and select Find Path To, we can click on the second item to have the shortest path added to the graph. 